Hey, hey, hey. So one thing that is a little bit annoying when you're trying to get your tabletop simulator JSON files into your saved objects file is that you've got to move them from your download loads folder to your saved objects file, which is just an extra step. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick way that I get around that extra step. So the first thing um, to note is that this is actually not a official or supported method. So if it doesn't work for you, I'm really sorry, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not able to support you in this. I'm using a Windows machine, so that'll be helpful. I'm using Windows 11, but it should work for Windows 10 as well. The first thing you want to do is download this regxp um, plugin from Google Chrome. So it's, it's this one here. And that lets you create special rules to sort your downloads as they come into your downloads folder. Um, so what you'll do is once you've got the plugin, it looks like this little um, down arrow up the top here. I've just pinned it to my um, extensions toolbar here. And what you want to do is just click on it, click on options and create a new rule. When you do click that, um, it will create a little panel like this. This is a new rule that I'm making. These other rules may be activated like ticked like this. Um, if I were you, I would just go along and untick them all to begin with and just create your own fresh new rule. I've called mine, um, this is a description here, so just put in something that makes sense. So I've just called it put JSON files in a dexterous folder in downloads. So that's what we're going to set up here. So these here are a series of checks, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to type this in, so exactly this, backslash dot JSON dollar sign, and that will look at any file that you download from the internet, and if it ends in dot JSON, if it's a JSON file, it will then stick it here in a folder called whatever it is here. Um, and if you use the forward slash here, then you'll just get the original file name. If you wanted everything to be called Mary, you could do that if you wanted, but obviously you want to preserve your file names. So you just want to put it in a folder. And obviously if you call this Bob, um, and then I click save now, um, actually it's just saved automatically. So if I go over to Dextrous here, if I go to a project, for example, and if I wanted to open up this project here, if I saved the project file, it is a JSON file. So now what will happen is our rule should kick into action. And there we go. It's created a folder called Bob within my downloads folder. And there's my project JSON sitting in there. Now, obviously, I don't want it to be called Bob. So I'm going to go in here and change that to something that makes sense for me. Um, and just so I know where it's coming from, I'm just going to call it Dextrous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with that. And now that should all be working. The next step is how do you get it from that special folder, um, whether it's Bob or Dextrous or whatever, into your saved objects folder in Tabletop Simulator? Well, you can make a special thing called a symbolic link, which is linking a folder into or a file in two different locations. Let me show you how to do that. Just click on your start bar here, type in command prompt or just command and that will bring this up here. So this is the Windows application that we want to use, not PowerShell, by the way, it doesn't work in PowerShell. Right click and run as administrator. You do need administrator privileges for this to work. So click that. Um, yes, that's all good. Um, and now what you want to type in here or preferably paste is, let me just get it here. Um, MK link. So that's the name of this. This will set up this symbolic link for us. So MK link. And then you want slash D. That is a special command that's telling it to be a soft link. There's reasons for that, but I won't go into that right here. Then you want the path to your downloads special folder that you just set up before. So how do you get that? So go to your downloads folder, which is wherever you put it. So for me, it's in downloads. I don't want Bob. Um, I want Dexterous. So, oops, I actually just need to create a new folder here. Um, except I right clicked on something there. What do I do here? New folder. Call it Dexterous. Or, you know, call it whatever the name is that you specified in the reg XP earlier. Um, and I want the actual path there. So I, if I left click here, is this right? If I left click here, no, that doesn't work. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, okay, this is a bit of a weird step. So I've actually got to go into my OS, which is C. 
and then it's under users and then it's under my username and then it is downloads. Okay, so you can see this is the path here that I want. This is the actual full path. So if I left click here, it will actually highlight the path. So I want to copy that and I want to paste it there. Now I think from left to right, like I think here's where it is and I want it to be somewhere else, but actually um, the destination comes first. So I will paste that in, but the destination actually comes first. The destination is your saved objects folder um, in the tabletop simulator folder. So where is that again? So I'll go, I'll go back here. I'll, I'll go, I'll open this here in a new window. I've actually got it bookmarked, but if yours is the same as me, it'll be, it's a long thing. It's in C users, your username, documents, my games, tabletop simulator, saves, saved objects. So it's such a long link there. But um, we're actually going to create a link to a folder of the same name. So we've got to do the same thing. Create a new folder, call it exactly the same, exactly the same. Um, so now I want to get the link to this folder here. So I go into it, I click into it, and then I you know, I just left click there, and that will get me the full path. Oh, my goodness. So how do I select this? Control A. There we go. Control A, and I'm pressing Control C to copy it. Going back to command prompt. Now, remember before how I said the destination actually comes first. So I'll go back. I'm pressing the side arrow here to go back. You can't just click in command prompt. It drives me crazy. Um, and then control V. So I've pasted. So what I've got here is mklink slash D. There's a space in between these. Then this is the path to where I want it to link to, the target. And then this is the um, original so your special folder in your downloads. Now that's actually not right, is it? That should be downloads Dexter. So just make sure that you do fix that up if you just made the same error as me. It's got to actually be the link to the Dexter's folder itself. Now backslash, we're not doing forward slashes here. This is a backslash. So I'll call this exactly the same thing. Note, however, that the D um, up here is a forward slash. The rest are backslashes. So now I've got two different paths, but there is one problem, and that is that command prompt doesn't know how to read these little spaces in between the paths. That'll actually screw it up. So what I would recommend is just putting quote marks around both paths separately. So I'm, I'm coming up here, I'm putting quote marks around that path, and I'm putting quote marks around this path here. And that will just guarantee that if you've got any spaces in the path, it will work properly. Um, so I think I'm good to go. Now I can just hit enter and it says cannot create a file when that file already exists. Okay. Because what did I do wrong here? Oh yeah, it can't already exist in the saved objects file. So whoopsie daisy. I'll go to this one here in this, in the TTS saved objects and delete it. So the target one needs to be empty the first time. Sorry. So there's no file. There's no folder in the tabletop simulator one now. Luckily, I've typed all this out, so I can just select that, control C to copy it again. Did I just do that? Yep, okay. Paste and enter. And this time it has worked. And it's, it says here, symbolic link created for um, the two folders. So now if I just minimize that, I'll see in my saved objects folder, there's a special little arrow here. It's, it's kind of like a shortcut, not exactly a shortcut, but it's kind of like that. So now if I drag something into this folder here, I should see it appear over here. Perfect. Okay. So it looks like the symbolic link has worked. Now, if everything is going according to plan, I should be able to jump over to Dexterous. And if I wanted to, you know, export this, um, this deck I've got here, for example, I go to tabletop simulator file. So this is creating the JSON here. It's uploading the images of my deck. And now what should happen is the reg XP should say, Hey, this is a JSON you're downloading. I'll stick it in a folder called Dexterous. So when I hit this download now, that will happen, should happen. Fingers crossed. Let's go look here. This is in my downloads. Oh, I think it's happened. Yes. And I've got this untitled project. That's my deck folder. And if I duck over to my saved objects one, the symbolic link should have also put that here. Perfect. And what that means now 
is that I can, you never have to do this again, obviously, you just have to set this up once, is that now um, if I open up Tabletop Simulator, I'll bring it onto the actual screen. That would be good. Now if I go create single player, so if I open up a, I hit objects, saved objects. Okay, so I've got this dexterous folder now that's within, within here. And it should just be straight in there. Yeah, it is. Great. So that's all working as you would expect. And so that in our shape, it just means that whenever you download this deck again, it's just automatically going in to the saved objects folder and it just saves you that extra step. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.